I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Riding the bus to and from work till you wake up in mansion from under the sun. Kiss like my tongue on her lips, so I'm gripping them hips. I've been keeping them coming. Is we on? Is we on? Is, is it relevant? Is it relevant enough for me to get in my element? Okay, can I talk to y'all? Salute to all of the subscribers. Rice thing. My Shopify.com is the website for the clothing. And um, this hoodie right here comes from sturdyusa.com. I actually went on there, saw some dirt merchandise and cop. Uh, salute to all of the business owners, everybody out there that's doing their thing. And I'm, I'm going to talk to you about a couple things. Then we're going to get into that 40 cal and ill will going back and forth. I actually think that's a pretty dope battle that could potentially. Who knows? We'll talk. Just, you know, you know. Before you stick a fork in me, take this walk with me. Y'all ain't A lot of y'all ain't got nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got shit to do. It's hard to avoid a hater when you ain't got no toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's quarantine. You know, so the content might be a little... It's quarantine time. You're chilling. So just, just watch as I break this down. Oh, yeah. My man Showtime SP will be back later. We're going to do a bunch of different things that we need to talk about. We're going to talk about that ultimate madness. I know a lot of y'all seen the trailer where the UFF is coming back. They've got a bunch of... A lot of new guys. We're going to pick person for person who we think is going to win. Uh, we'll have bracket busters, we'll have first four out, we'll have uh, most likely to win. We have all of that, you know what I'm saying, because we'll do our own thing. And um, what we might do, I have a P.O. box, so we're probably going to do, um, where we can do our own little office pool. We have our own office, you know what I'm saying, but you guys are the fam, so we'll make it to where, you know, you can print, print out your brackets, you can write down who you think is going to win. And then, you know, you can mail them to the P.O. box and then we'll put everybody down. It'll be a small entry fee, nothing crazy, because what I want to do is the person who wins or the person whose bracket is the closest to the winning bracket, we're going to send them out a hoodie in every single size. Like, we'll do four hoodies. You can pick whichever four you want, and then we can have a, a cash prize, too. That's just for being engaged and being involved. But we'll, it'll be more. We'll, 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 I want to talk to Showtime SP and see what he wants to do, too. But uh, I think that would definitely be dope and, and some fan. And like I said, this is just us, like rice game. Like if you don't fuck with us, we don't fuck with y'all. So who cares? Move on. So um, hope everybody's doing good out there. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a crazy time right now. I just took off work. Like I said, you know what? It's hard to avoid a hater and I got toilet paper. So I'm not tripping. Like I did not, I seen people like they were like still going in and still doing things like that but for me personally it was just i was like no nah, i don't i don't want if the nba is closing the nhl is closing now all the restaurants is closing all the bars is closing even when i was on the highway driving the toll plazas are closed if you have an easy pass though get your easy pass but for the people who don't have easy pass they're just taking their license plates and, and mailing them their tolls to pay so if all of that feels like it's important enough to be closed, then I don't, I shouldn't be at work. Like it's not, no, I'm, I'm nerd, 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 nerd. If they don't want their toll money, if they don't want their toll money, there is no way I'm gonna be there. Ah, uh, mm, mm, nerd, 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 nerd. So um, I hope everybody out there is um doing good. Um, like I said, my birthday had just passed. Salute to everybody for the birthday wishes. I never had so many people hit me up in life. Um, about a birthday, you know, well wishes, uh, people asking what they could do, donate. I didn't, I didn't really want to do that because I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? I really didn't want to put like, yo, send money to my cash app. I really didn't want to do that. But what I did suggest, I will suggest now is if you wanted to do something, you could have just uh, copped something off the merchandise, ricegangdownmyshopify.com. That, that's a hell of a present. I would, I, and a lot of people did do that and I got a bunch of orders out today and the rest will be going out. As the week goes, quarantine, it's hard out here. I know, salute to the people who did hit me up. Um, most of your orders is out. It's a few more that we're, you know, getting sent out. But quarantine is, it is crazy, dog. Like, companies that shipping stuff to me is taking forever. Because, it, but we got you. Trust me. Before you, before you stick a fork in me, take this walk with me. I got you. Um, I've ordered things. I've been waiting for, for over a month already. Like, my stuff is just not coming from there. And it just told me, like, you know what? Just put it in rice. Corona got 3 or 3 out everything right now. But, uh, so let's get into this 
40 cal versus 40 cal versus um, calico. Well, first of all, I will say this. Salute to 40 cal. Everything that he's got going on personally, professionally. Uh, I do say that in regards to most, art, I mean, pretty much every artist. I don't even have to like you to say salute to everything you have going on personally, professionally, because this is a form of entertainment. Like there are people who watch these blogs, people who watch different channels for their personal entertainment. You know what I'm saying? They could be home chilling with their family, kicking it, and they got the you know the AirPods in watching a blog, or you know they could be on the road, they driving, they listening, they watching the blog. So I've had people tell me, why isn't the content longer? Y'all should be doing an hour. I'm like, nah, I'm not trying to be talking that long. But uh, salute to when I say personal impression, because it's like yo, to see 40 cal come back versus the ill will, and you survived. Like, you didn't, to, there's people who say you won, there's people who say you lost, it is what it is. That's not what we're debating right now. We're debating the fact that you came back and you had a performance that's worth talking about, and it has went on past the day that it happened. Like, normally a lot of people's performances, they be dead the same day, who cares, it doesn't matter. But your performance has people talking. I've had artists that are like top tiers, really like, yo, is that battle out yet? How can I see that battle? I want to see is he even worth talking about because the way 40 Cal is talking, he's talking like he really, really, really smoked ill will or put in work. But what I will say is uh, he's not cut from the same cloth as Cassidy as far as like doing all of this crazy talking and not having the performances to uh, back it up. So I got time today for Cal. I remember that blog the other day I said I wasn't going to... Um, really talk about the cast, but I will today because quarantine. Um, Cass, he was good at this. The promotion, the talking, I'm the best in the world, I'm the best in the world, nobody's ever beat me. Look at my resume, I'm 5,000. Oh, he was a good talker, you know what I'm saying? He, was, he, he is a good talker. But he's not good when it comes to showing and proving. Like he's, yeah, let's be for real. Like, Everybody on the cards that be on cards with Cassidy is better than what he does. And, and there, I mean, there's a few little, little, you know, sprinkles here and there who still think Cassidy is so great. But, like, when you look at the spectrum of what's going on out here, who's relevant, who's buzzing, and what's popping, like, we all know that that's not it. Like, it's not. He had two battles. Well, he had three. He had the one with Disaster, but... That was across the street and up the block and down the other side. So, I mean, it, who cares? He beat Cat. He beat Disaster. But I'm talking about on this second comeback when Ultimate Rap League he had two battles. I felt like he got 30 them both, but you could debate the first round versus Goods. But that's also beginner's luck. That first roll of the dice, everything is going to hit because it's like, this is Cassidy. So the, it, 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 the objects are appearing are appearing closer than they are. So he's got this first round magic where everybody's like, oh, it's Cass. But even if you debate the first, or let's just say give it to him. Second round, lost clearly. Third round, he's getting booed. He's getting booed. Like he's literally getting booed. People are leaving and heading to the parking lot to get their cars and beat traffic as he's losing the third round. You know what I'm saying? He's getting, he got demolished. And then he battled Arsenal. In what was not a good performance by Arsenal. It was very, very standard. If we're looking at the standard of Arsenal and what he's done in battles versus like Ichigati, you can even give me what he did versus Chess. You could give me mad battles that he's had. You know what I'm saying? That's not, and I'm not even getting into classic stuff like Hollerhand and all. We're not even doing none of that. We're not doing that today. But, very standard arsenal, you know what I'm saying? Even what he did versus drugs was did probably better than what he did versus cat. Very standard is what I'm saying. And he clearly 3 0 you. Clearly beat you. Blew smoke in your face and had the whole place looking crazy. He was getting booed. Something wow. But um, with all that, let's, let's, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it in motion. Um, 40 Cal came back. He battled ill will. Ill Will was not that good in that battle. I know that you guys, and 40, I know you watch these joints, you know what I'm saying? You say, I watch all the blood. I love the energy. I watch all the blood. I love it. I, I get it. Yo, salute to you. But uh, Ill Will was very, very standard in this battle. He got crazy versus Av. He got crazy versus Ill Mag. He got crazy even versus Daylight. 
He got crazy in a lot of joints. With you, he did not get crazy at all. He did not. He did not. He was very, very, so pretty much standard that people feel like you won. Now, I feel like it was a close one, but that's neither here nor there. I salute what you did in the battle versus Ill Will. You took advantage of the situation because that's what you're supposed to do. You're a consummate professional, but now here's where it switches. You're talking. You're talking heavy. And I respect it. Trust me. You do the, um, you pull the BMW, the i8 out. I do like the i8. Me personally, I got too many kids. I can't rock the i8 because, you know what I'm saying, ain't no backseat, ain't none of that. So, you know what I'm saying, I personally drive a truck. But I like the i8. You pull the i8 out. You got to remember, this is battle rap. These people ain't really got no money like that. A lot of these niggas, they battling week for week for week for week. They battling every week. It's a fact. Now, now with what's going on, they're overhyping the coronavirus? You think these, these dudes are hurt? Like, they, they're hurt right now. A lot of them are going to be hurt. So, you pull out the BMW i8, niggas see it. You know they're going to go online and start talking crazy. But you know what? It is what it is. So, um, the, a video was posted on Hip Hop Is Real where, you know, he was pretty much talking his talk, doing what he do. And, um, you know, it, it made it to Twitter. People started tweeting about it. People started talking about it. And, um, you know, um, King Chandler says, 40 Cal is the energy the culture needs. Over friendly battlers, please take note. Posted a video of 40 Cal talking his talk. I ain't here to be friendly with y'all. I ain't friends. Jumping out the I ate the doors in the air. Look real DVD-ish. This looked like a smack DVD scene for back in the days. And it was fire. I liked the energy. So, Calico says... I've been on this type of time. Tell that nigga to sit down somewhere before he get his issue. Now, the reason why I like it being Calico is because 40 Cal, and then you have Calico. They close names are similar. They call Cal Cal. They call 40 Cal. They call him Cal too. Um, I like the grittiness between both MCs. It would be a gritty matchup. Obviously, Ill Will, who did get crazy versus Calico too, like I said. 40. It's a lot of battles that Ill Will got crazier than than he got with you, but we're not gonna we're not gonna keep riding. We, we're gonna keep it moving. Um, Calico could go across the street. He could battle wherever he wants. He's not one of these niggas who signed one of these slave deals who can't really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I do like the fact that it is Calico because Calico could go where he wants. He can go here. He can go there. Now he has had some you know Fritos worthy performances like the one versus New Jersey Twerk. I'm on a nutty block like wait, we'll get you. You know what I'm saying? We, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 2020. We're gonna keep it going, keep it positive. But then he's had some fire ones too. So he could talk that street shit like the street shit needs to be talked. Um, so then it goes further. Uh, Calico then says, so um, Tone Montana. So who's Tone Montana? The real the, the Tony Montana is in the tweet. But salute to Tony Montana. I hope all is well. Um, Tony Montana said, fuck him. Out of, get him the fuck out of here, Cal. Nigga talking a little too spicy. Calico, talk to him, Cal. Talk to him, Cal. Talk to him, Cal. Says, that rented whip is what threw me off. Don't jump out of somebody else's car talking crazy, especially with a name that close to mine. Remember when I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the video that, uh, Battle rappers, not not Calico, you know what I'm saying? He's doing very good for himself, but the majority of battle rappers, I've been saying this for years, these niggas is, is broke. Like, they don't, I know what a lot of these guys make, and trust me, talking about what they do on YouTube is paying more than a lot of them are getting paid for battles. So when they see somebody, not, not, we're not saying Calico, Calico does well for himself, but a lot of these guys, it wasn't just his comments, a lot of people was commenting on 40 Cal the Whip saying it was rain. Um, so, he says, when you do that, it's going to bring up conversation. So Calico says back, what's sad is you niggas be renting cars so much, you actually believe that's the type of time I be on. And FYI, my name been my name first. It's this thing called Google saying, I've been Cal, I've been 40 Cal before you even popped on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just saying, I've been, I've been, I've been here. I've been here. Where were you? You know, but um, that leads to the battle thing. I feel like the two should battle. 
I tweeted, I acted ARP about it. He asked me what I thought. I was like, yes, I think it's a fire battle. And these two could, uh, could potentially bring some heat to each other. I mean, 40 Cal, like I said, he needed an outwards personality. And I said that in the original blogs, that while Ill Will is fire, Ill Will is not a comeback battle. He's not an outward personality. He's not going to jump on social media and talk crazy to you, make it extra spicy, and bring that fight. He's just not going to do that. That's not his person. And everybody's not extroverted like that. You know what I'm saying? And in this sport, we need people that's like Mayweather-esque personalities that's going to talk shit, that's going to, you know, rile, rile up. Like Cassidy, he's an outward personality. The only thing is... His talent don't match his personality. That's the big, that's the problem. The talent does not match the personality. Now, when the talent and the personality match each other well, it can lead to a great fight. Now, Calico is a great talker who sometimes has great fights, but then sometimes they'd be like, what the hell? But I would see him in a battle versus a 40 Cal taking it very serious because he knows the eyes will be on, the ears will be on, and the way that 40 Cal talks, like he talks very heavy. It's Cassidy-esque, but it's not as, as, you know, flamboyant as Cass. Like Cass was saying, like, nigga, I bet my whole back in, I'm not gonna lose. And then after he loses, he's like Adrian Broner, like, oh, I won 3-0. He won 3-0, like, what are you talking about? So he's in his own mind. He's the best. And it's really hard to debate with people who feel that way. Like, he'd be like, oh, he might have got a little round, but I still beat I still smoked him. But when you look at <laughs> that shit crazy. I don't even know how that works. But um, what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Do you think that uh, 40 Cal and Calico could be a thing? You know what I'm saying? It's Calico is Cal, Cal, Cal. Speaking of guns, um, if you made it this far, I'm going to show y'all what I got myself for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I really don't often get myself big big things but i got myself a nice little toy um a cal a cal i got a caltech 12 gauge caltech ksg um i've seen a lot of gut videos online about people doing gun breakdowns and things like that there are like whole communities where people review guns break down guns and things like that so i kind of like okayed it first before i uh, posted this video you know what i'm saying it's not loaded or anything but i definitely would like for y'all to see it um the kickback is crazy Jesus Christ, but um, so that, it's a lovely gun. But other than that, you already know what doing what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. Talk to him, Cal. Talk to him, 40 Cal. Uh, yeah. Quarantine footage, you know what I'm saying? This is uh, longer blogs uh, about, about everything that's going on in the world, including the subject that I wanna talk about. If y'all are cool with that, you know, you let me know and we'll, we'll continue to roll. But other than that, gang. As promised, I wanted to show y'all my new Caltech KSG 12 gauge. You know what I'm saying? My sh my joint's legal, so you know what I'm saying. Ain't nothing crazy like that. But I definitely want y'all to get a look. This joint is clean. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, Caltech KSG shells loading there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, but it's got it's got a lot to it. Um, I will say this: out of all of the guns I've ever copped. That joint has the craziest kickback that I've ever, ever experienced. Like, that joint, the gun dump, the gun tuck, the gun dump, the kickback will kick you back to wherever the fuck you come from. It's that Ace I mean, This is the whatever Ace I mean was talking about. It's definitely all into this joint right here. And I know a lot of my followers and if subscribers are into, you know what I'm saying, guns and things like that. And I would definitely, you know, show them some more, you know what I'm saying, just because I like the breakdown. It's actually a real simple breakdown of this, too. It's got two pins right here. You just hit both of those pins, and then the bottom breaks, and then you can, like, clean it manually. The one thing I will say when I fired it at the range was that it doesn't have, like, it's not lubed up, so you're going to have to really, like, break it down and lubricate the whole thing. And I saw it, um, I saw it a couple times throughout the months I had went there, and I saw it sitting there, and then I went there again, and I was like, if it's there around my birthday, I'm definitely going to cop, and I had to, uh, pick this up and there's nothing wrong with a video about it because i've seen videos online from like Keltec people or people that own actual uh shotguns that break their joints down all the time show people how to use them show people how to clean them and everything you know what i'm saying but i just definitely want y'all to get a look at what i caught myself for my birthday you know what i'm saying i never really get anything too much 
But this one right here was crazy. Like, I'm telling you, man, I, I so much want to go back to the range and fire it again, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to, you know, be there every day with it. But uh, if you're ever looking, if you, you know, clean, clean people, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, this ain't for the crooks and I got 18 felonies. I can't go buy a firearm. If you can, I definitely like the KSG um, Keltec. It's got a hell of a kick though, so you gotta have your, uh, you gotta have your definitely your push up game, your 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 bench press game together before you just go out to the range firing these, because this will definitely um have some hell of a kickback. But like I said, it's a dope gun. Uh, I think I paid like a little less than eight hundred for it, high sevens. But from what I've seen online from their website and all of that, it's sold out. Like they're sold out. It's hard to even get your hands on the KSG. Um, so this is like their newest generation model, but it's definitely a uh, fire, especially for um, a 12 gauge with three inches, you know what I mean? But um, especially in having such a short barrel, you, I kind of knew that having a compact barrel like this would equal uh, a large kickback, but dog, this stock right here is cool, but man, it kicks you back like hell, whew, but um, definitely want y'all to get a look at it, you know what I mean? So y'all niggas... Let me know what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? And let me know what, what kind of hammers y'all own, you know what I mean? Like, this is just a different part of what I do, you know what I mean? So, gang. This is some people who witness existence and sleep on my soul and me off the night mission. Listen for moms, always leaving up some. Riding a bus, to and from work till you wake up in mansion from under the sun. Kiss like my tongue on her lips, so I'm gripping them hips, I've been keeping them coming. That's up, coming, that's up. Better, 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 better. Keep the ones who will ride for forever, forever, forever.